Okay, so we've just finished the cancer cell biology lecture. Let's do a challenge question to check your knowledge. So have you ever heard of a PET scan? A PET scan is positron emission tomography. It's a imaging method that's used to visualize and measure changes in metabolic activity, and it can be used to detect tumors. For cancer detection, they use something called 18-FDG as a radioactive tracer. 18-FDG is 18-fluorodeoxyglucose. When absorbed, it will be detected by the PET scan. So what do you see here? We see fluorodeoxyglucose. Why do you think this irradiated glucose can be useful to detect cancer cells compared to normal cells. Think about it for a second. This is an image of a PET scan. It's imaging that highlights high glucose use through this 18FD. G. What you can see here is a whole body PET scan looking at a female after IV injection. The investigation was performed as a part of tumor diagnosis. And what you can see is the normal accumulation in high glucose sites, tracers in the heart, bladder, kidneys, and brain. But what you can also see is a huge accumulation in the liver and the colon. So what you're seeing in this image is a liver metastases of a colorectal tumor. Why is this imaging possible with a PET scan? Okay, well, it goes back to what we talked about with one of the hallmarks of cancer being a change in metabolism. So remember that cancer cells often consume high levels of glucose because of the Warburg effect. And because of that, they will appear brighter in a PET scan. So there are some areas of the body that have high glucose use, and those will be expected by the radiologist. And other areas, if they light up when they're not normally supposed to light up, that's suspect for a tumor that's utilizing high levels of glucose. Remember that cancer cells often have this Warburg effect, high glucose use because of their excess glycolysis, even in oxygenated environments. We can take advantage of that using a PET scan to detect those metabolically active tumor cells. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.